Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, so it looks like there might be a delay. <laughs> Does it look a little funny to you guys? Like I'm watching myself and I'm like, that looks a little bit off. Okay, well, I already have my tabs pulled up. And as you can see, this is um, a little going to be a little bit longer of a video. There's 35 bolos here. This is a featured eBay seller from my Facebook group. Awesome. I learned a ton from this seller. They get most of their stuff at the bins, so their margins are really good. Um, you guys are going to want to watch this. So hang with me. I know it's long. If you need to pause it and come back to it later, I highly recommend it because you are going to learn. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe below and um, click the alerts button. If um, you haven't already, that will alert you when I post new videos. Okay, so it looks like maybe I need to look into some other types of ways to video and sh screen share with you guys because I don't like the delay. And I have a tendency to try and do my research and get everything pulled up like a week in advance so that it makes it quicker. So I can just kind of go in and record several videos at once. So anyway, I'll look into it. If anybody has something they use, Comment below, I am open to suggestions. I really like this one, but um, sometimes I have to shut down Google and restart it for the delay to not happen. So anybody can help me, I'd appreciate it. Comment below. Also comment below if you have questions on the video, I can uh, get in touch with the seller. All right, we are gonna get started here. Let me shrink this down. I'm going to move quickly because there's 35 of them. All right, so the first item is this vintage Manning Bowman Art Deco ice bucket. Now this thing is cool. Um, just gonna show you a couple of the pictures here. I don't know, right here's the, no, I was thinking right here's the markings. So if you wanna see what it looks like. Um, so they get their items at the bins typically and if they didn't get it at the bins, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, but uh, the bins for $1.29 a pound, and it's two, five, or $10 for heavier items, and typically comforters are $2. Okay, so they got this at the bins for $3, and they sold it for 150 plus shipping. <laughs> three dollars into 150 that is amazing i'm telling you guys this seller really has some awesome bolos so hang in there all right um the next is this uh blanket and it's a spider fly web and again i don't do a lot of blankets this seller is doing amazing with blankets and comforters and things like that just wait until you see these solds it's amazing um to me they're just so big and you got to clean them and I, I don't know i just haven't i haven't looked into it but after seeing these i'm seriously considering it so they uh got this at the bins for two dollars uh sold it for 149 plus shipping all right this item is uh pillowcase rug pillowcases uh not really Antique, antique vintage. So it looks like they have some issues. They've been repaired. And they picked these up at the bins for $2 and sold for $149.99. I mean, look at this. I would not have looked twice at this. I would have walked right by it, dismissed it as trash. And this seller knew that there was money here, picked it up, for two bucks and sold it for $149.99. I'm telling you, amazing. All right, the next one here is this deer blanket. It's a plush blanket. They picked it up at the bins for $2 and sold it for $59.99. It's Pearl Jam t-shirt. Um, it says nine out of 10 kids prefer crayons to guns. And they picked this up at the bins for 50 cents. Again, it's based on weight. Um, sold it for 120. Amazing. We all know concert tees are a big money item on eBay. All right, this is 
Misouk. I'm not sure really how to say that. M I S O O K. It's a women's 2X. Um, here is the brand, the label. It does have a mark on the label, but no big deal. Uh, $1.75 at the bins. Sold it for $69.99. Now, I am not sure if this item is selling for a lot because it's just got a cool pattern and it's animal print and it's just neat and it's a good size or if this is a good brand. So check out the brand, see if other, see what the comps are on it and find out if it is the brand or just the style and color. Okay, the next one we have are these candlestick gold glitter. Now these are pretty cool. Um, so for those of you that are just listening, these are, um, candlesticks and they are beautiful. Um, I think they'd be even prettier if they were like pink and purple and blue and green, but these are like a gold color. Um, really, really neat. They bought these at the bins for $2 and sold them for $31.99. So pretty neat. This one here is a Polo Ralph Lauren sport coat and it's plaid. We all know Ralph Lauren usually does pretty good, especially if it's vintage, but this jacket's pretty cool. Um, they got this for $3 at the bins and they sold it for $105. So these options are amazing. I mean, this seller is really, really doing awesome. Okay, so I've heard of these. These are the Morgan Baby Blankets. Let me see here if I can find you a, uh, there's like a tag or something but they have like the waffle weave look. Uh, okay, right here. Let's see if I can, it's not letting me zoom. But you can see right there, it says Morgan and you can see kind of the weave of it. There we go. So these are a major bolo. They go for good money. Um, I've seen other sellers that have sold these as well. $2 at the bins, sold it for 100. All right, I don't know how to say this, but this is the brand. And they picked these up at the bins for $3 and they sold them for $140. I'm gonna give you a shot of the inside so you can see what um, it looks like. Here's the brand, here's what the bottom look like. So these are pre-owned shoes that sold for $140. Okay, I have talked about this one in my Facebook group. By the way, if you're not in my Facebook group, I'm going to link it below. Be sure to join that. We um, talk about bolos and I post tons of bolos. Some of them are from the group. Some of them are just bolos that I find on eBay, but you will definitely learn something new every day. Okay, so this brand typically does well. I'm not really sure how to say it. Um, B-U-C-I-L-L-A. Um, is the brand and they picked this up at the bins for a buck and they sold it for best offer of $60. Okay, so these are a dance magazine, private listing cemetery. Okay, that's kind of weird. Dance magazine. Um, let's see, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven issues. Uh, they got this at the bins for 45 cents, 45 cents, and sold it for $45. How fantastic is that? Super cool. You just never know, guys. There's collectors of everything. Now, this one just made me smile. I'm like, who on earth would wear this? I mean, it, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, somebody would wear this. <laughs> I love it. I kind of love it and I kind of think it's ugly and I kind of think it's pretty and I, I, I just don't know what I think about it. It is definitely, definitely unique. So here is the label and um, it's vintage. It says 1989 on the tag, knitted by hand with two needles. <laughs> love it. Okay, so they got this at the bins for $3 and sold it for $51.99. All right, the next one is this Pottery Barn bedspread. Again, this seller does a lot of bedding. Uh, let's see, $2 at the bins, sold it for $54.99. So it sounds like maybe at their bins, they can get comforters and stuff like that, and it's just a flat $2. I think that's how I'm understanding it. Not 100% sure I did not ask, but um, in the notes, that's what they had said. 
So here is, it says sleep, pretty cool. Um, trying to find my spot here. This is a sheet and they sold, or they bought it for $2 and sold it for 48. So again, this is just a flat fitted sheet. All right, here is the chipmunks. Uh, it's a fitted twin sheet. Uh, a lot of the sheets that have like the Disney characters and stuff like this, they usually go for decent money. Um, definitely search comps if you see it. If you can get it cheap enough, grab it. You're, you're gonna make money more than likely, even if it's not a huge bolo. I'm trying to see what they're pointing at here with the pen. Oh, it says tear on side small tear on corner. So that, yep. So it has some issues. Uh, they bought this for $2 at the bins and sold it for 68. All right. This is, I believe, let's see, is this a record? Yeah, it looks like a, a, a record. And they got this at an estate sale for $10 and they sold it for a hundred. Pretty good, really good, not pretty good, really good. Okay, so this is a lady on a horse candle holder. And they got this at the bins for $2 and they sold it for $79.98. Again, this is something I would look at and be like, huh, that's kind of different. I wouldn't pick it up. I definitely wouldn't think that I could sell it for big money. And this seller, made big money on it. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here. For some reason, it's not zooming very good. All right, so there's your picture of it. Okay, so this is a women's ski jacket. Oh, it looks like it's, oh, it's a snowsuit. I'm sorry, it's a whole snowsuit. That's pretty cool. Uh, picked it up for three bucks at the bins and sold it for 80. Obermeyer. Never heard of it. Here's the label if you want to check it out. Okay, I love this one. This one makes me smile. It's a toilet seat. It's a vintage toilet seat and it is very, very pretty. So if you want a pretty toilet seat, here's a pretty toilet seat. Kind of makes me laugh, made me smile. Anyway, they got this at the bins for $2 and it sold for 60. Alrighty, we have these adult, I say Nike, I guess it's Nike, so I'm gonna go with what everybody tells me it is. These adult Nike Quest, these are rollerblades. Oh, I'm sorry, hockey skates, inline hockey skates. I would have called them rollerblades. What do I know? Inline hockey skates. They bought these for, I lost my spot. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. $5 at the bin, sold them for $67.49. Another duvet cover, so bedspread type thing. This goes over a like comforter, a duvet. I love these, but anyway. Restoration hardware, they bought this for $2 at the bins and sold it for $67.49. So my question is, if you have a bins in your area, what do they charge for comforters? Is it a set fee or um, is it by weight? Comment below, just curious. All right, so this is a riding jacket coat. I don't know how to say the brand, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna mess it up, but uh, here's the inner label if you wanna check that out. It is a size extra large. They got this for $5 at the bins and sold it for $69.29. Okay, so this is a cutting board, J.K. Adams reversible cutting board. I've not heard of this brand, but apparently it um, must be a decent brand because they bought it for $2 at the bins and they sold it for $40. All right, this is a serving platter, Broadmoor Hotel Golf Club. Let's see if I can, here's what the back looks like. They got this for, I think, $4 at the bins and sold it for $120. All right, I think you say this, Tony Lama. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but these are usually a, this is a good selling brand, typically. Um, definitely do your research. 
Uh, this is a men's 12, so that's a good size. They bought these for $10 in an estate and sold them for 105. All right, so this is a vintage Art Deco painting watercolor, women's portrait signed Harold Lures. Uh, so you can see right here, they got this at the bins for $2, sold it for 120. They took a best offer and it shipped to the UK. All right, Sesame Street Big Bird Comforter Blanket Twin Full. And then they've got the dimensions. It's from 1997. $2 at the bins, sold it for $31.49. All right, this little Tykes uh, toddler airplane swing, pretty cool. Uh, picked it up at the bins for $5, sold it for $40. Another bedspread, another Pottery Barn um, duvet set with two pillowcases. And they got this for $2 at the bins and sold it for $134.99. I know the duvet covers can sell for big money. I've never bought one from the Pottery Barn, but I'm guessing if somebody's buying one that's pre-owned for $134.99, that they're probably pretty expensive new. So great find. Longenberger Basket, this is like a hamper. They got it for two bucks at the bins and sold it for $139.99 plus shipping. Okay, another bedspread. This is a Ralph Lauren, oh, I'm sorry, this is a sheet. Ralph Lauren Queen Fitted Sheet. So this one, they got it for $2 at the bins and sold it for $134.99. So I'm guessing that maybe this print is no longer sold and maybe somebody has like the matching bedspread and maybe they needed a sheet. Maybe their sheet got damaged or something, who knows, but $134.99 for one queen fitted sheet. Super cool. All right, so this is an animated Christmas nativity angel figurine. I don't know if she does anything. I'm thinking she might, but I don't know. Yeah, she does something. Let's see. Battery's not included. Head and arms move. So this was picked up at the bins for $2 and sold for $58.49. All right, hang in there. We're almost Santa Claus animated uh, Santa here. Let's see. Picked it up at the bins for $2, sold it for $35.99. So not a huge bolo, but really good margins. I mean, always smart to take a picture of it working. I like that. If I was buying it, I would want to see that. So I think that's cool. And if they get it and say it doesn't work, you can say, hey, it worked in the picture. All right, so this last one here is a World War II photograph and it says 1944. They picked this up at an estate sale for five bucks and they sold it for 75. So this is fantastic. Um, so this concludes this video. This seller does an amazing job of buying things low and selling them high. It looks like they have an amazing Benz Goodwill bins that they shop at. Um, mine around here, I think I've said this before in my videos. I went one time and I'm like, I don't think I'll be doing this again. So I did not have any luck. So again, comment below. Do you have a good bins? What kind of stuff do you buy and resell? If you want to be featured on my channel, definitely look. Uh, let me know. Down below in the description, I'll uh, post the video that tells you how to be featured. I also want to take you into this seller store to see other items. So right over here, you're going to click see other items. And I always go to highest first because that is the most fun. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. Be sure to check it out. Take the time to check it out. And if you see something you want to buy, I bet they would love that. I will uh, post the link to their store down below in the description as well. So if you wanna go in, I'm not gonna scroll through their entire store, obviously, um, but I'll post the link down below and you can check out their active listings. If you wanna see their solds, you go over here and you click 
sold listings. So, hey, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'm going to start working on my next video. Oh, also, if you want to see my other fe featured sellers, I do have a playlist um, under my videos. Just click Featured Seller Playlist, and you'll be able to see all the sellers that I've featured from my Facebook group. So have a great day.